Italy is a truly stunning travel destination, but how much can you discover of this enormous country on a budget of just 1,000 euros? We are The Budgeteers, where friends who love doing fun and crazy travel challenges. Our goal is to explore, taste and experience as much of Italy as possible, until our budget is all spent. So join us on this mad adventure series where in this episode we're traveling to the famous Garda Lake and hope to discover all its beauty. This adventure series is made possible thanks to these amazing travel brands Ortlieb, Commute and Tropic Field. This is it. We're on the platform. The last time we were here it was at night. Now early morning starts for the next adventure. Should we get in here? First wagon? Okay, thank you. With the bikes, we need to go all the way up front apparently. Okay, so if you're wondering why we're carrying bicycles on a train, that's because in the previous episode we've started our travel challenge in Milan, where in just one day we bought the cheapest crappy bikes we could find and had an amazing time exploring the city by bike and got to meet some really fun locals. Now we've got 858 euros left and heading by train to the Garda Lake. We don't know how to do it, but we kind of found a really weird way. And we found help from another traveler. Whew. Hopefully that's good. I, I don't think it's the best way, but uh, <laughs> It'll do, it okay. It'll do. We barely got here in time. We just had a few minutes to book our ticket on the machines here. Whew. That was I'm like, <laughs> we're glad we're on this train that we were able to sit down because yeah. we're this is now <laughs> an hour and a half to just enjoy the yeah. views. The first views of uh, Italian countryside and what else is there to see? So we're, I'm excited for that. I'm but yeah, too. you're also excited for coffee. I think. I really wish I had coffee. Yeah, yeah. We haven't had breakfast yet. It is that early. Do they sell coffee on the train? No, it's not like India. So no chapati and then. Um, Missing China. Why not? We'll yeah. See you guys in Garda. Let's go. We should be there in an hour and a half. Yeah. Okay, we've now been an hour and a half on the train. We think our stop is coming up. This, it took a lot of effort to get this bike down. We're both so tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We almost fell asleep. Like that's why we're, like we, we forced ourselves. We were both like half asleep the whole train, right? <laughs> it's um, just so comfy. <laughs> but yeah, we're we're about to arrive. Yeah, right here. Woohoo! Arrived. Yeah. High five. They even have an elevator here. Hey, we made it. We did it. We're here in Garda. Well, this is Desenzano, a real small town next to the lake I'm of Garda, I'm which we're so about to explore. I'm so excited. But first, but we're gonna get breakfast. Thank you. Yeah, yes. a real Italian breakfast and hopefully cheap because yeah. we're doing this on a budget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Let's yeah, see yeah, what yeah. we can find. We have no idea really. Nope. As luck would have it, there's a real Italian cafe just across the train station with croissants and most importantly, real Italian coffee. Cafe Lupio, el cannolo, americano. You could tell this place is where all the locals get their daily coffee fix, which is perfect for us because we are craving a good breakfast. Life in Italy. <laughs> But now with breakfast sorted, our plan was to use our bikes and discover all the beautiful sights around this lake, which are said to be stunning. But first things first, we still have to find a place to sleep, or worst case, camp. And luckily, an Italian friend sent us an address. 
All right, so we've arrived at a friend of Tyson's family's home. <laughs> yeah, we know him from Bowen in Australia, where we actually started the Budgeteers. Yeah. Where Petty and I met doing farm work, and he also worked on the farm. So his family's from here. Yeah. And this is their home. Yeah. And they hope it is. They're letting <laughs> us crash here. Let's, let's, so, let's see. Let's do it. Let's see if we let's actually arrived at the right address. All right, let's try. I'm curious. <laughs> we've, we've never met these people. So it's going to be a little bit awkward, but also hopefully nice to meet them. And then it's but also really nice that they welcome in total strangers. That's always nice. <laughs> Great news. Nobody's answering the door. At this point, we thought we lost our camp spot. But luckily, we could still call Renato in Australia. Ta-da! Hey, Renato! <laughs> so, you, you're gonna guide me in? Yes! What a lifesaver! Thankfully, Renato, calling all the way from Australia, guided us through the gate, through the garden, and showed us where we could camp. Thanks again, Renato, for uh, fixing us up with a beautiful garden. Thank you, yeah. Okay. Enjoy the sun. Yeah. Bye, Lina. Bye, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, man. Ciao. Woo. We have a place to stay. Although it's starting to rain, should we put up our tent? And yeah. then figure out what to do. The weather's not perfect, but um, that might change. Who knows? Yeah, but surely enough, more and more raindrops started falling down when we were setting up our cool little tents. This cute garden is perfect for camping, but we were not expecting this kind of weather here in Italy in September. But we hoped for the best and wanted to explore the town before the weather really turns bad. Alright! <laughs> so, uh, we set up tent, we met with... Uh, with Renato's sister. With Renato's sister, Silvia. And we're gonna head to an osteria, I think it's called, yeah. where they serve local food uh, for a good price. It's a good recommendation of her. Like yeah. always, ask the locals where the cheap and good food totally. is. Where did they go? All right, let's find this osteria. Even on a rainy day, the small town of Desensano is beautiful. And it wasn't long before we found an osteria where we could hide out from the rain and enjoy Italy's delicious food. We're splurging ourselves with a nice Italian um, pappardelle e bolognese. We've come to Italy to spend some money, guys. So, and we're gonna spend it on really good cuisine here at the La Fresca in Desensano. Uh, this place was recommended to us and uh, it lives up to the hype. Two pastas, two glasses of wine, and of course, we had to try a real Italian tiramisu for dessert. Oh, that's really good. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. That's, I've had a lot of good tiramisu. That's really good. I'm so glad you made us spend money on <laughs> But altogether, it cost us 35 euros, which is a fair price because it was so good. But on a budgeteer's challenge, this is a very expensive lunch. Compared to our previous series, that money would last us for days in places like Guatemala, Indonesia or Sri Lanka. So we realized Italy was going to be a really tough budget challenge. The perfect little Italian The only disadvantage is the prices are a bit like tourist kind of made a little mistake there of spending more. But yeah, unfortunately, we can't just keep eating out like tourists every day, or our budget would be gone in a few days in a place like this. Luckily, the views around town are truly charming. A historic town center, a marina next to a beautiful and enormous lake, and stunning mountain views in the distance. But unfortunately, also a lot of wind. The mountains are impressive. Imagine this with clear skies. An even better way to see the lake is to take a ferry across it, which we were still hoping to do today. The lake even goes all the way into the Italian Alps. But as we kept up to date with the time schedules online, sadly all the ferries remained cancelled for the entire day due to bad weather. Since the Garda Lake is so close to the mountains, the weather can change in an instant. Which it did. It's not really been great weather here in uh, Garda, as you can tell. So we're taking cover in this garage of Renato. 
Or oh, we've been, uh, been drenched on the way back. I just want to point out that I don't have a rain jacket and we're camping tonight and this is the situation, vale? This is one of, one of those uh, less glamorous nights. Yeah. Always yeah. glamour, we're always keeping it glamour. <laughs> we're like hiding out in this little garden shed and... Uh, waiting for the rain to stop. Waiting for the rain to stop. But it looks like the next few days is not going to be great weather. That's good. <laughs> so we might have to change the few plans we do have to yeah. hopefully chase some sunshine. Yeah. So we'll figure it out. But right now we'll just sit. We'll just sit in the garden shed. We'll be here. <laughs> like some funny places you end up staying in, like uh, a garden shed. Yeah. Why not? We've done worse. Well, Mexico. Far worse, far worse. Yeah, but luckily after an hour or two sheltering in the garden shed, Sylvia got back from work and we were allowed inside their family apartment, which had an amazing view. Like it's still raining, as you can tell. Our tents are down there in the garden. I'm now up here at the Renato's parents' apartment. Lovely view here and there's even a rainbow. It's a double rainbow. Yeah, and it's yeah. a full double. It's a full double. I know. Like double I'll, I'll, rainbow, double rainbow. Like we're gonna sleep there. It's gonna be an interesting night. Hopefully dry. <laughs> <laughs> This night was actually gonna be the perfect opportunity to properly test out the camping gear Nature Hike kindly gave us to try out this trip. Ooh. Yes. We even got a pillow. A even Nature Hike gave us a, a pillow. A wee pillow. Let's yeah. see. Test it out yeah. right now. Oh, that's what dreams are made yeah. of. I'm actually looking forward mm -hmm. to like sleeping in these tents. You know? Like it. camping again. The mat. I didn't get a pillow, but the mat seems yeah. really nice. Yeah. And we've got a look sleeping this. bag look and a sleeping bag liner as well. Look at this. We set up. Ooh. We're yeah. gonna sleep like a baby. Like a baby. With our tents set up to withstand the potential storm, we were in a rush to explore the town in search for some cheap food before it got dark. And nothing lifts up our spirits more in these cold, wet and miserable times than delicious food. Oh, look at these. These are our paninis yeah. next level. Cheap. Good. Well, it says so on the internet. We'll see. Yeah. But I'm excited. They look really good. We need to eat something because it's actually really, really cold. The wind here is freezing. Yeah, it's super cold. That's because we're right by the water. I think we're wearing all the clothes we have. <laughs> Literally. That's that's the kind of night. This is. Sometimes you're lucky, sometimes you know. But, uh, but there's always good food here in Italy, so something to like look forward to. Oh, bon appetit. Bon appetit. How is it? Freaking amazing. I might order another one. It's I, know it's, I know it's not good for the budget, but it's super good. so good. Yeah, it's really good. We rode for five kilometers to get here, and uh, it's worth it. <laughs> He's so dramatic. We drove for 2.4 kilometers. <laughs> Took too long. It's weird because usually I'm the hungry one, but today Ty's like, please, let's get a second sandwich. And I was like, Ty, use the budget. He's like, but I'm hungry. I mean, I was worried about the budget, but also we don't have a bathroom tonight. No toilet. Like we're locked outside. We have nothing. Sylvia's gone, and her parents are also gone, so there's nobody home, and the door's locked. We have no toilet. So that's why I didn't want to eat a second sandwich, but here we are. <laughs> Living on the edge. Living. <laughs> Eating a second <laughs> Living on the edge. Oh man. So that was our first day in Garda. Cold, wet and expensive. With all our plans gone down the drain. And a potential rainstorm and no toilet for the night. But the Garda region is a truly beautiful place. And it's because of these strange situations that we love traveling. And the only thing we can do is hope for some clear skies tomorrow. Ty? And no mosquitoes this time. Ty? Yeah. I need to you. <laughs> <laughs> you 
too far. Morning, guys. All right, so I look like hell. Anyone who wakes up looking beautiful, it's a lie, it's not true. Nobody wakes up looking beautiful. <laughs> but I think I hear a Ties over there. Ties, mm -hmm. wake up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm gonna like, I'm gonna go wake up Ties. We have to go book our train tickets for tonight and we need to start our day because we have a lot to do today. Oh, we can see the clear blue sky. That's a good sign for today. That is a really good sign for today. That's what I wanted to see. Good. Isn't it ironic that this is the best sleep we've gotten so far? Yeah, I think we slept twice as long as we did on like previous nights. Which indicates how little we slept in the past night. This was great. Oh, slept like a baby. <laughs> Hey! Ta-da! Great. We gotta start our day. <laughs> <laughs> guys, got that? Yeah, got that. Stay clean, even when you're camping. Go on. <laughs> this is what I have to work with. This is what I have to deal with. <laughs> Today we were lucky with a surprisingly sunny day, so we quickly got our train tickets and had breakfast where we prepared ourselves for a big day out riding our bicycles around the lake. But at the last minute, Ty's received an invitation from an old friend that we knew we couldn't pass up. Okay, we've now made it here to a place of another Italian friend I know. Chef, there he is. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> It might have been six years since I saw him uh, and Patty. He knows Patty as well. I actually didn't know he lives here. I only found out like yesterday. Hola! Hello! Hello. Hello. Bye! Now oh, look at this room! Good to see you again, man. <laughs> Fuck! It's been oh, so yeah. long, eh? Yeah, man. I was just thinking six years. Ciao. As you can tell, these two go way back. So when Chef heard that we were in the area, he insisted that he cook for us. And we're not ones to refuse such kind Italian hospitality, as it is exactly why we came to Italy, to experience the real Italy. Oh. Okay, okay. Salute. 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 I budget ears. Oui. <laughs> and what beats having a real Italian like chef cook you a pasta? A carbonara which he makes in his very own special way. This is spe oh. special sauce. Secret. So, carbonara, you will find 20,000 receipts. Ah, so there's. Everyone has their own yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't make. I don't use. Um, Cream? Yeah. No cream. Uh, okay. No cream. Just eggs and cheese. Oh. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of cream. And after, when the water is the the pasta is ready, you yeah. just put like yeah. uh, a little bit of the water, water inside here, so it makes the creamy no, no, no. without any cream or any stuff. Nice. You know, in Italy, always oh, I can do the pasta better. It's this way, this way. <laughs> just eat pasta. And make just eat pasta. Is, is that oh, not just a, a never ending discussion yeah. where everyone has their own pasta? Why discuss about food when you just need to eat and enjoy this meal? Exactly. We were really gonna enjoy Cheers. this meal. Oh, salute! Salute! Cheers. Thanks for cooking for Thank us. You. No worries, no worries. Yeah. <laughs> After devouring that delicious carbonara and catching up on memories, Chef needed to go back to work. So it was time for us to hit the road again. Okay, now that we're fed, we're like full of energy of that really delicious uh, carbonara. We are gonna cycle around the Garda Lake all the way to Sirmione and because one of our sponsors for this series is Commute, we're gonna use their app to get around. They're actually a really cool cycling app, which 
lets you make your own and plan your own uh, cycling routes. We'll get going with this and uh, we'll see you in Sirmione. Finally, we get to take out our bikes for a real bike ride. From Desenzano around the lake towards that little peninsula in the distance, where there's an old historic town called Sirmione. This town is one of the most beautiful and famous tourist spots of the Garda region. Above its cliff there's even ancient Roman ruins, so we had to check it out with our bikes. And we were looking forward to this because riding a bicycle really is the best way of seeing the sights and discovering new things every turn you make. And we were just loving it. But we do still need to adjust to our bikes and also stay away from crazy Italian drivers who don't seem to mind cyclists. Let's cycle here. Later on the path became a lot easier and more beautiful with nice spots to view across the lake. This really is why we wanted to cycle Italy since we are free to explore wherever and whenever we want. It's especially fun with commute by our side because even as inexperienced bikers we can change up our route whenever we feel like. And now we're beside the lake. A little bit more off-road. From gravel roads to suburban alleyways, you can choose your style and just enjoy without any worries. Grazie. A lot of other cyclists as well. A lot of other cyclists. Cycling Garda seems to be a thing. And before we knew it, we were on the last stretch towards Sirmione when Lina's bike started acting up. Okay, so Lina's cycling now, but she's got a problem with uh, her gears. Like, they aren't changing properly and uh, snapping. Lina has to get it looked at in Venice. And it's, it's not good. Slepa bene. That doesn't sound good, but we arrived without further issues. Hey! We made it to Sirmione. Uh, mm -hmm. We've heard it's a very beautiful town. Uh, we're not allowed to take the bikes in, so we're going to go see if we can drop them off at the ferry station. Yeah, it's very beautiful. Yeah. It's right beside the lake at two the points. Lake, the lake looks beautiful from here. Yeah, very touristy though, so we'll have to be careful with the budget. Yeah. Um, <laughs> let's see. Let's go, let's go check it out. To enter the historic city of Sirmione, there is only one entrance, through an old medieval gate. But once inside, you're greeted by a really impressive castle, which dates back almost 800 years. All the narrow streets are just crowded with tourists from Italy and all over the world. But only locals are allowed in with vehicles, and yes, they will run you over. But this town really is textbook picturesque especially with all these beautiful and colorful flowers on a city's old brick walls. And since we're in such an idyllic town, we couldn't resist doing the most touristy thing here, which is tasting the unique Italian ice cream called gelato. You know what they say, like when in Italy? Oh no, when in Rome. When in, when in well, Rome. when in Sirmione. Eat gelato. Yeah, eat gelato. Look at the selection. First gelato in Italy. How's it taste? That's real, I think. Is it good? And pistachio. Ooh, creamy, it's creamy nice. pistachio. Yeah, really good. It's big. Like, how much did it get? It's huge. I took the smallest one. It's four euros, but it's huge. We took the smallest size. I got chocolate and passion fruits. The last week, I've been telling Thais that we haven't eaten gelato in Italy yet. And he's like, yeah, yeah, we'll eat, we'll eat, we'll eat. We arrived here and I was like, Thais, if we do anything here, we have to eat gelato. So we both got gelato, it's four euros, but for four euros, you get quite a lot. See, I'm happy with my gelato. Afterwards, we wanted to check out a secret beach, which until recently was only known by the locals who called it Jamaica Beach for a very specific reason. Chef uh, suggested this beach because this was known to the locals as the place where everyone came to smoke and chill out. Uh, but now it, it, it has become a quite uh, touristy, but it still remains the name Jamaica Beach. Let's check it out. Yeah. 
As you can tell, this place is clearly not a secret anymore. There's people everywhere and it's not a real beach either, it's all massive rock. But that's really not a problem. Because honestly, this is one of the most beautiful chill spots I've ever been to. Look, you're in the middle of a giant lake overlooking the Italian Alps all around you whilst you're chilling underneath a sunny Italian sky. It's just perfect. This place is truly unique and it did make us wish we could stay longer for a couple of days just to soak in all this beauty. But since tomorrow the weather might turn bad again, we made the difficult choice and decided to press on and leave tonight. So as it got darker, we needed to make our way back and catch the last ferry. So that's about it. Our time here in Garda has uh, run out, but yeah. it's been really, really beautiful. We've seen some touristy sites. We managed to like not spend almost any yeah, money here in, uh, here in Garda. Yeah. We wish we had more time here, but we want to see a lot of Italy. We want to make it all the way south here, so stay tuned for like more episodes. And next up is the probably the most touristy yeah, place I, in I Italy. Th I think today was like a snapshot for what's about to come. Yeah. Um, our, our next destination where we're going to in a second when we get off this boat is Venice. And uh, we're gonna try and budgeteer Venice and we still have to find accommodation. So it's gonna be tricky. <laughs> we have a train to catch. We have to get off this boat and yeah. go catch that train. We're gonna rush. We'll see you in Venice. We're gonna go we gotta right go now. now. We gotta go. We gotta go. Our train leaves in 40 minutes and the boat does like 20 minutes about it. So we gotta hurry. We're ready. We're ready to bolt. Let's go. We're gonna bolt. Let's go. We're gonna basically jump off. Yeah. It's not that far. I can make it. With your long legs for <laughs> sure. <laughs> no, but we're so late. We're like, if we catch the train, it's gonna be barely. So we need every second. We yeah. need to be the first ones we, off this. We place. don't have our bags yet. Let's go. Let's go. Steep up all this. Uh, let's go. Uh, Dolina. Uh, are we in a spinning class or what? It sure feels like the last song. Like of the one spin last class. push. One last push. You only have two minutes left. Uh, come on. Almost. On the first floor. We're here. Woo. Fine. Yes, we made it. We made it. That was Ooh. so stressful. Bleh. I'm tired. <laughs> it's good. We're good. We're good. We're good. So let's get on this train, and then we can just like chill for an hour and a half. Yeah. We still have to find accommodation, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll let's see. get on this train. <laughs> yeah. Bike racks up there. Yeah, it's leaving. It is this train, right? Yes. What? I was joking. I was literally joking. What? Hey. Where is he going? Did we just miss our train? I'm so... I'm so confused. Wait a minute. So, it seems like we missed our train in an insanely stupid way. But to see where we might end up tonight, continue to watch the next episode in Venice. And don't forget to like this video. Thanks.